Rice fields are one of the largest sources of methane emissions. Rice is a staple food for roughly half of the world's population. However, most rice varieties prefer to be grown in continuously flooded fields, as it provides favorable conditions that help suppress weeds and prevent infections. Rice fields can either be artificially made or wetlands turned into agricultural fields. However, many studies have shown that waterlogged soil has a significant contribution to methane emissions. A saturated field prevents the diffusion of oxygen from the atmosphere into the soil, creating an oxygen-depleted environment. A favorable condition for anaerobic microorganisms. These microbes do not require oxygen to break down organic matter, like methanogens. The process described is called methanogenesis, the final step in the decomposition process generating methane is the end product. So to summarize, the onset of the anaerobic process requires the following conditions, an oxygen-deficient environment, fully saturated soil, the presence of methanogens, and an organic matter supply. Rice fields have a large accumulation of organic matter emanating from rice plant roots, plant litters, rice straw, and other waste products left after harvest. The methane produced can then be released into the atmosphere through any of the three pathways, via diffusion, bubbling out of water, and transport through plant stems. Consequently, rice field cultivation has recently been considered one of the leading agricultural sources of methane emission worldwide and a vital contributor to global warming.